The university takes breaches of academic honesty very seriously. We're responsible to the community for providing good graduates. The, the only currency we have to trade with the outside world is our graduates, and so they have to be academically literate, know how to write in their own words, and actually do that. Whether you call it academic honesty or academic integrity, to me it amounts to follow three very simple principles. One, don't lie. Two, don't steal. And three, don't hide. Academic honesty is perhaps one of the most important aspects of academic life, not only for, for the research project but also for the, for the studying and the students. I believe it is um, an abstract sort of concept. Um, it's one not only about uh, intellectual property and sort of acknowledging others' work, but it's also about, um, I guess, a fundamental value or, um, uh, I guess, upholding or presenting um, values of fairness, of, of equality. It's, it's something that requires a really, you know, broad contextual sort of approach, so we need to have you know, the students in, engaged in academic honesty. We need to, the staff to be engaged in um, practices that support academic honesty and, of course, uh, be academically honest in their own. The honesty to seek information, the honesty to exchange information, the honesty to practice um, ethical conduct in everyday life. Um, I also extend this to encouraging an environment in which students, staff and colleagues can report on intellectual abuse. And students are hugely privileged to be trusted, to act honestly. And there are lots of ways to abuse that trust. In many cases it seems students find out uh, that they've done something wrong when it's quite late. Uh, where it, it should be something that they should know about from the very beginning. I'd like to see where there's been breaches, so that the breaches become educational rather than punitive. Um, there are lots of opportunities, people get stressed, they get tired, they're under pressure, they may not understand all the rules as delineated here. They really need to have a thorough explanation and examples shown to them and not just told that you can't copy or you, you, know, you can't take other people's work. What worries me sometimes is that there's a lot of focus on the negative side, like you know, catching plagiarism and cheating and you know, malpractice, and, and of course that needs to be there. But an awful lot of sort of policy and documentation goes into that side of the concept of academic honesty. So you know, it's kind of you know, the quality control process for managing malpractice, rather than the educational approach to creating a spirit of scholarship and learning and engagement with um, you know, uh, the disciplines. We live in an academic life where we want to pursue and exchange information. We want to contribute to a growing body of knowledge. But with that exchange comes responsibility. The responsibility to cite others' work, the responsibility to confess that we learn from others' body of information. So academic integrity does not confine you, but creates a confidence in the system to contribute to a body of knowledge. I'll throw in another supplementary principle that uh, don't assist anyone in their acts of stealing, lying, or hiding. These four principles can form a sound basis for a comprehensive account of academic integrity.